Hi, this video is for students who did not have school this week. If you're looking for some extra fine motor activities to do at home, this is what I'm doing with several of my students for fine motor. I want you to get a paper plate from your bag. I already put the stickers on here just to save some time, but you're gonna work on your child peeling the stickers off and then placing on the paper plate. We're gonna put 12 stickers. They don't have to be perfectly spaced. You can see mine are kind of spaced different widths apart. And then we're going to get the clothespins in your bag and we're going to use your thumb and your finger or you can use your index finger and your middle finger for a pincer grasp. And we're going to pinch and put the clothespins on all the stickers. And so you're working on hand strength. You can hold it up, but I want your child to hold the plate and the clothespin so they're working on bilateral hand coordination. And they have to turn the plate and clip them on all of the stickers. I'm going very fast. I don't expect your kids to go that fast. There we go. So when we're finished, it kind of looks like a sun. So you can practice counting. You can practice colors if your child is younger. And then afterwards, you might have to put the plate down so they can hold the cardboard with their other hand. Again, working on bilateral hand coordination, we're gonna put the clips back on. Make sure thumbs are up instead of down. When thumbs are down, kids aren't using the proper muscles to use for hand strengthening, so we want your thumb up to pinch. You can turn the plate. Take all of them off. Good job. Awesome, last one. So that's the first activity for fine motor strengthening and bilateral hand coordination. The next one is there should be a bag of beads and a pipe cleaner. So the pipe cleaner, mine's already tied off. Let me show you what I do. The pipe cleaner, I just wrap around and make a little loop and then I twist it so that the beads cannot go anywhere. And so your child is just gonna use a pincer grasp again and using their, their fingers and thumb to hold the bead, put it on and slide it down. This is a great dexterity activity and bilateral hand coordination activity. It's easier if you leave the beads in the bag. So you're gonna fill up the entire pipe cleaner and when you're finished, put the pipe cleaner with the beads back in the bag and you can work on zipping the Ziploc bag. Now that's tricky. Use your thumb and your finger again to make that circle and you're gonna pinch and slide. That's hard for a lot of kids. So fill up your pipe cleaner and I will see you guys who I missed this week next week. Have a great week and weekend.